Thank you for joining us today. You're listening to The Human Resource from the station ICRC-TV in Cincinnati, Ohio. My question to you today is how many of you are using a second pair of eyes? I know. You're going, what are you talking about, Pandy? Who needs a second pair of eyes? You know, there are so many situations in human resources where I, I tell my clients all the time, okay, so did you use a witness? Did you ask a witness? Did you find a witness? And I, it, it led me to believe the other day, I, you know, we probably should talk about that on the podcast because many of you are rushing through circumstances and have forgotten the value of a second pair of eyes. And I could, I could come up with 10 or 15 different circumstances and scenarios where a second pair of eyes will benefit you. But here's the top five where I think companies should always, always, always have a witness involved in the circumstance or the activity of human resources. And, and there's all sorts of reasons. I mean, it, it, it varies with the circumstance, but let's talk about the most obvious. And that's any time you have opposite sex having a crucial conversation in an office, behind a closed door, in a, in a situation, an isolated situation where only the two of them are there. Now, you've all heard the he, see, he said, she said type scenario, but it goes beyond that. It goes way beyond that. And in many circumstances, it's not just the opposite sex, but there's a lot of opportunities where in a crucial conversation, an, a witness can be extremely beneficial. And let me define a, a witness. So we, we've got that scenario. What does a witness do? A witness is a neutral party that would sit in the presence of that conversation and listen, possibly take notes. He said this, she said that. They went on to this comment. They went on to this detail. But the witness is not meant to participate. No. The witness is just there to make sure that a third party can clarify exactly what was said, how it was said, how long it took, where and when it happened, and what the outcome was of that particular conversation and meeting at that time. Witnesses are not to come in and bully Witnesses are not to come in and side with either party. Witnesses don't even have to be a member of management. Witnesses can be chosen by either party. And witnesses aren't even meant to, to mediate. They are simply there to see what happens, document what happens, and leave. So, if we're having a meeting between two individuals, again, I've always said, look, male, female, now it's male, male, female, female, whatever it is, it's really wise to pull a witness in and have them listen to that conversation and document it for you. In many cases, let's take a, a, a corrective action. In many situations, the individual that's being written up, how many times has it happened to you? They don't want to sign the paper. They don't want to sign the corrective action. They don't want to sign and acknowledge or feel like if they sign it, they're agreeing to anything. Okay. They don't sign it. But guess what? If you could be a witness in the corner of the room documenting that conversation, that, that encounter, you got their signature. So they can say, well, yeah, the meeting happened. And the employee chose not to sign it. But in the conversation, the employee was told this or that. 
And in the conversation, the employer was told this or that. They're not meant to side with either. They're not there to add validity. They're there to prove that it happened, though. And in a corrective action, even in a, just a basic performance review, that's important because you're going to hold these individuals accountable, correct? And you want to make sure that what you meant to happen can be proven that it did happen. What about when somebody has a complaint or a concern? Someone wants to report harassment. Somebody wants to report an unsafe workplace. Someone wants to report bullying. I know some of these conversations are, are taking place in passing. I know that employees are making comments and supervisors are just looking at them going, yeah, okay, got it. Yeah, right. I heard you. You need to take those seriously under many circumstances. And you need to bring a witness in and say, look, I'm going to bring the HR person and they're going to sit there in the corner and they're going to take notes. Or you're going to bring in a supervisor that's unrelated to that department while the HR person takes the complaint or the concern. Cover all your bases because it's actually for the protection of the employee as much as it is the employer. They may want to look at the notes. They may want to make sure that what they said was heard and documented. Don't deny him that. Don't deny him that. You have nothing to hide. Without a doubt, any time you do an investigation, you should have a witness available. And even though the investigator is taking their notes, how, how, how could it possibly be negative or um, detrimental for the witness to be taking the notes as well. Sometimes witnesses can take even more thorough notes because the investigator is actually listening and compiling her next comment or compiling what he wants to probe and ask in the next, in the next conversation. Investigations are a very sensitive, sensitive situation and it's an, that's another whole podcast on its own, but you want all the details you can get in an investigation, just like you need all the details you can get in a workplace injury or a workplace incident. Look, those forms, if you're filling out the workers' comp forms, they're going to ask who witnessed the accident. The insurance company is going to say, who witnessed the incident? Where were they? How much involvement did they have? Their details, the witness's details, can be even more thorough when you're doing an investigation and you're asking an individual, you saw this, you witnessed this. Give me the details that you can provide on this particular situation. Witnesses are extremely important in workplace accidents and incidents. And you need to seek them out. And then even have a witness to that interview of the witness. Because again, you don't want to miss a detail. And then just overall, it doesn't hurt to have a witness in interviews. Sometimes, again... Things can happen even with a candidate or a, a potential employee coming back. Witnesses are powerful, powerful people. And it's the process of being a witness is so important. I think we totally underestimate the power of that position. But if you're choosing a witness, remember, make sure that it's somebody who can stay neutral 
that they understand the importance of confidentiality and that they will make their notes so detailed (laughs) that your job is so much easier. The power of the witness. Get those second pair of eyes. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. And I hope you're glad you, you listened to us today at the Human Resource.